Well, the ACCC has launched what could be the biggest legal challenge to the anti-vaccine lobby. The consumer watchdog lodged papers with the federal court alleging a website by Homeopathy Plus has made false and misleading representations about the whooping cough vaccine. So what are the facts about whooping cough and the effectiveness of the jab? Steve Hamilton is the president of the Australian Medical Association. He joins us now from Brisbane. Steve Hamilton, good morning to you. Good morning. OK, once again, why should parents vaccinate their kids against whooping cough? Well, whooping cough is a very severe bacterial illness uh, that when there's no protection uh, can, can result in quite severe coughs. It can, it can result in very severe illness. Uh, the coughing spasms actually c can cause hypoxia and brain damage and we see actually kids very badly damaged by this particular uh, bacteria, mostly below the age of one. Since the advent of the vaccine, uh, we've certainly changed the way whooping cough presents in our community. It still occurs, but not that severe illness. And, and mostly in people younger than three months And now. Based, based on that, what do you think when you see this website uh, raising questions about the effectiveness of that vaccine, given all the dangers uh, that kids are faced if they don't get the jab? Well, sadly, it's terrible when uh, misinformation is allowed to spread. And in fact, I checked the website today and it's, it's not available anymore. It's, you've got to sign in to get it, uh, which puts it behind a, one little, uh, one, a couple of extra clicks. But uh, we've got to make sure we get accurate information out there for parents. They are trying to do the right thing and the best thing for their children. Uh, we do need to reassure them that uh, the vaccine works. And no vaccine, of course, is 100% effective. But what we're trying to do is stop that serious illness that leads kids ending up in intensive care and sometimes even losing their life. The ACCC has been moved to act and the move has been widely applauded by a lot of medical professionals, as you'd well know, Steve Hamilton, but it's only acted because the uh, retraction orders issued by bodies like the Therapeutic Goods Administration simply um, weren't listened to. So do you believe there are weaknesses in the way the regulatory system functions when it comes to websites offering misleading advice like this? Well, there's so much, there's a plethora of websites out there and there's a lot of misleading information. And uh, I guess we have to warn our population that um, if on the web, there's a variation of information, some very good, some very poor. Our regulatory systems have, if you, uh, have thankfully caught up to this one and actually can hopefully uh, improve the, uh, the balance of information that's out there. Uh, but I, there are a lot of other websites that are still able to, uh, to peddle information, not just about immunisation, but things like fluoride, all sorts of things. Terrific. Steve Hamilton, thank you very much for that reality check this morning. Steve Hamilton there from Brisbane.